hello everybody. Um, I am going to be working on doing some test tiles today. Um, so if you have no idea what that is, <laughs> um, I am working on, or I have a kiln that is broken, uh, or that was broken. I just got it fixed, but I haven't tested it yet to see if it works. So um, I need some pieces to put in the kiln to like test and make sure that they work properly. Um, so my goal today is to um, is to make sure that I have some things to test out, make sure I have some things that I can fire uh, for this test kiln. Um, this piece here is a uh, porch reveal. He has a backyard, uh, I guess porch. It's like a slab of concrete <laughs> in my backyard. My backyard reveal. Also, the screen is so tiny. I have it so far away. So I'm like trying to make sure I can actually see everything that's happening. <laughs> um, I don't need to edit that chat box. My chat box, there we go, here we go. Colin, hello, how are you? I saw the porch reveal, but I couldn't tell who it was that was talking. I had to like fix that. There we go, I can see everything now. Um, this is only part of my porch, or like backyard. I have like a whole yard off that way. Um, but yeah, today we're just, we're going through and making some test tiles. I'm good, how are you doing, Colin? Um, this piece here, is a, a piece that's already been bisque fired. Uh, it just needs to be glaze fired and it's just been sitting in my closet for like months. Um, so I'm gonna set that to the side. These are pieces I've like finished, but they're just like little random pieces that I've made, like a little heart here. And then this is like a little goose or whatever. <laughs> Damn, that's the quickest my chat message has ever gone through. Well, I'm on my phone too, um, and it's connecting through like cellular instead of Wi-Fi, I think. So that could be why. Either that, or you're just used to coming in when I'm like really far up in chat. I think you're the only one here right now. I have a little camel that I made, and then this little uh, little skull, I guess. I don't even know, but yeah. What have you got going on today, Colin? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got my little toolbox here. Um, this stuff here is like clay that I was starting to like do something with. And then, um, yeah, I think I'm just like, good. Could be, could be. This is clay that I've let sit out for way too long. Um, and it's in what you call a, um, it's very cold. Um, this is like what you would call like bone dry for clay. It has not been bisque. If I just like do this, it could easily break. I mean, you see like cracks in there and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have to re-add moisture to these slabs because I left them, I let them sit for way too long. There's an ant in my water. Not my drinking water, it's like clay water. I'm gonna scoop those over. Um, okay, so the mission today is to make test tiles. Um, and what test tiles are, are just little like, you can make them any shape you want. I'm just gonna make little like rectangles that stand up. Um, and that way, when I go to like test out different glazes and stuff like that, I can see how the glaze is gonna run down the clay if I have anything that's standing up. How, wait, uh, I had my reading EOC, what is that? I'm dying right now, but I made a new friend through talking about books, so that's fun, that's awesome. How about you, like how's my day going? It's going good. I did a lot of disc setting up in the Discord. Um, 
and then just prepping this. Um, I don't know what side of this I'm going to use. It's really hot outside though. This is not going to be a very long stream. It's probably only going to be like a couple hours max, I think, for however long it takes me to make these. Um, I have a lot of clay, but a lot of it's like dried out. <laughs> So, I'm going to have to rehydrate a lot of these, but I'm probably not going to do that today. Um, also, I'm going to binge read tonight because I'm on the last 70 pages and I'm so scared but excited. What book? Okay, that's all hard. This is so heavy. Okay, this is... I can indent this with my thumb, so I'm going to use this for sure. Um, an EOC is an- oh, end of course exam, okay. I saw the new Discord layout, love it, yay, I'm glad! Yeah, there's a lot more, like, I've changed it so many times. <laughs> there's a lot more to this uh, layout, but I like that everything has its own category instead of having like the forum style. I liked the forum for a little bit, but... I just feel like it gets hidden too much. Um, it's called Shatter Me. I don't think I've heard of that one. I mean, I'm also not like a huge book reader. Um, hmm. These might, I might be able to use these. Um, what is this? Femic 5, Miller 50. These are all different types of clay. Um, they give a different, they look different based on how you fire them, they feel different based off texture, and then they're different colors too. This other one, this red clay, I think it's called Brooklyn Red, number 308. This one apparently gets really, like, stains really easily, so I'm probably going to use this one last. Um... I got four ads, so if you're talking to me right now, I've missed the past, like, minute. I think I'm, I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm really just talking about all the different clays and stuff. Um, but I, 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 the book thing, I haven't read the book or seen it, so I don't know. I'm not a huge book reader. May, hello! What book can you stream me? Yeah! <laughs> Um, I'm back. Also, love your jeans. I live in Florida, so not really jean weather. Sag, I used to hate jeans, but now I love them. They're literally like jean shorts because it's so hot outside. Um, dog, I am on my phone, they, so none of the commands are going to work. I don't have the commands set up through my phone. Um, come here. Little Bentley is out here with me. He's got a little water bowl over there, so are you? You're stuck in the garden. This way. There we go. Okay. Um, I know I thought you would do the voice. Wait, what is it? What the dog doing? Like that. <laughs> the weather looks nice. It is, but it's hot. It's a little hot. I mean, it's not like hot, hot, but it's, it's warm. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to start with my lighter clay first. We're just making what I call test tiles, so they're just little squares, and I'm going to have them standing up so that I can test, like when I get to the point of glazing them, I can test how the glaze is going to run down the clay if I have anything standing up. Because whenever you, like, different glazes do different things, so it's always good to test stuff out. Uh, before you commit to something. Um, there you go. It's wet and muggy here. It's not really wet here, but it's it's kind of like humid. Uh, who did? Who this? Hello, Gumnet. Hello, how are you? So I'm on my phone, so I'm like having to lean in to like read everything because it's not that close to me. Um, how are you doing today though? Uh, it's so hot in Florida and like nine out of ten days that we're all black. Why are you doing that to yourself? <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so I am gonna use um, this little wire cutter here to help me cut out um, 
little, like, not blocks, just slicing this clay so that I can make little test tiles. I'm gonna make them very basic and generic looking. Um, who, who dad, who dad is? Uh, you're gonna have to do exclamation mark pokey start if you wanna start catching Pokemon before you do pokey catch. Uh, Mosta, hello, how are you doing? Hello! Uh, did I miss anything you said during the ads? But I don't, I cannot see, because I'm on my phone, I can't tell when ads are happening. Usually on my computer I can, but on the phone I can't, so I don't know when it's happening. I'm sorry, Colin. Um... Most of what I'm talking about is just clay stuff. I've probably said the same things a couple of times already. Just because I know some new people are coming in and might want to know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, okay. I might, like, bring you guys back just a little bit. So you can kind of maybe sort of see what I'm doing. I don't want to put you too far because then I can't read <laughs> the chat too small um, because I don't like to stand out what do you mean you don't like to stand out um, I played it so much Pokemon Go I guess all that time walking into traffic to catch them doesn't make me a purple dude don't walk into traffic <laughs> that's my neighbor's dog sorry Boris, hello, how are you doing? I hope you're lurking. I'm lurking in your stream on my computer inside. <laughs> um, hold that assassin. What? I I need something out here so I can read chat. Assassins. What is that? I think I only missed the book stuff talking about. I also just like those colors. What colors? Did I just hear a Bentley growl? No, that's my neighbor's dog. Bentley's just living. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, um, woo, this is very soft clay. And it's been sitting in a box for like months. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna take like, mm, about here, and we're gonna just like, Oop. Yeah, clay. <laughs> okay. Um, you can, yeah, you can see that. Okay. So I also forgot a rolling pin. Hold on. me okay um a grenade a grenade what a gren gr gr garret I don't know why I'm having trouble saying that word is an assassin's tool Sudo hello how are you we can hear you also hi hello Gurret Gurrot Gurrot is that how you say it? <laughs> or is that how I was saying it? Um, also, I have a rolling pin. I do not use this to cook with at all. Um, this is specifically for clay. If you're ever gonna do clay stuff, don't use stuff you eat with. Because <laughs> clay, when it gets dry, um, or even just when it's wet, it has, um, oh gosh, my mind went blank for a second. Um, the, it has a particle in it that, if you breathe it in, is very dangerous. Um, so you should never eat or drink, even though I got a straw, around stuff you're using clay with, because you can get, um, gosh, what, my brain stopped. What am I thinking of? Uh, doing alright? How are you doing? I'm doing great! I'm just using my phone on a tiny, tiny screen. I can barely see it, what everyone's saying. <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised you sound so clear with all the background nature noise. Can you hear the birds? It's crazy. That clay reminds me of cookie dough. Yeah, don't eat it. <laughs> it's not cookie dough. Um, I'll eventually think of the word I'm trying to think of. Um, 
But yeah, anyways, what I'm doing now is I'm using this rolling pin to get it really nice and thin. I want it to be about maybe like an eighth of an inch. You need it thin enough that it's gonna hold structure, but like you don't want it too thick because then it takes a lot longer to dry. Uh, we're not making cookies. <laughs> um, silica. Clay has silica in it. And if you breathe in silica dust, it's not good for you. Um, silica dust is very bad. <laughs> So you should always work with wet clay. If you are gonna work with dry clay at all, you should have a mask. Um, all this clay is, is got moisture in it, so we're fine. Bless you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's the good rule of thumb for a lot of art supplies, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, right, don't, don't eat while you're around art stuff. <laughs> okay, so again, we're just making test tiles. Um, because Boulder was so amazing and fixed my kiln for me. He tested it in the fact that he knows that it gets hot, but we didn't test it as in we haven't fired it yet. So we're not 100% sure if all the elements in there work the way they need to work. And so to test that, we need to fire some stuff um, and see if it does a good bisque fire and then a good glaze fire. Whenever you're doing pottery, you need to fire it twice bisque fire um, makes it stronger than in a dried form um, it makes it like viscous though so like it'll soak up liquid um, and that's when you would put a glaze around it which is like a liquid glass almost and then you do a glaze fire which makes the glaze turn into more of like a glass form and seals the pottery to where you can make it food safe and you can eat and drink off of it. Um, but not always, it just depends on uh, how high you fire your clay. Um, there is a thing called, what am I thinking of? Raku, um, which is not food safe. It doesn't get high enough temperature, but it makes really cool clay. Um, no shoes always come with silica packets. They do? I didn't realize that new shoes come with silica packets. When I was little, I thought it was salt packets. Oh my god, stop! You're gonna, you're gonna make me think that you're, like, not gonna live for much longer. Um, I'm just kinda, like, scrolling up just to see how much I've missed. But anyways, I went to school for illustration and it's crazy to me. In retrospect how little instruction we were given in regards to art safety other than obvious stuff like being careful around wet machinery or heavy machinery that's crazy I went to call like I did pottery in college um, and they were definitely big on like safety why is Bentley on a leash Pharaoh Kimmy let my people go Bentley I don't have a fenced in yard so that is why he's on a leash um, I just got my grade in art school, an F to an A, let's go, yay, that's awesome, congrats, Colin. All those years of painting and nobody thought to teach us that pigments uh, with, ca ca com oh god, I can't breathe, <laughs> and the name are toxic, for example, that's not good. Okay, back to the lead right here, right. I'm in my art class, he says nothing about safety, that's crazy, but would Bentley run away if he saw a squirrel? He probably would, yeah. Um, okay. So I did ceramics one, two, three, and four, and then a little bit of a workshop, which is basically like you have the um, you have the art room to just work on stuff. Um, but I never fired any of the stuff. The the studio aides fired it all for us. So I don't really know a whole lot about kilns. <laughs> so we're gonna be learning a lot next week because I asked Boulder if next week was okay time to like test out the kiln and stuff. Um, so he's gonna, I don't know how much he knows, but he's gonna, we're gonna work on it together. We're probably not gonna do it on stream. Um, I've got like 
holes, bubbles. If you have bubbles in your clay and you fire it, it traps steam in and it could explode in the kiln, which is not good. Taco, hello, how are you? You hear Bentley whimpering? Yeah, you yeah, you definitely hear Bentley whimpering. It's oh, hold on. It's cad cadmium cadmium, if it helps, yeah. <coughs> it does help, sorry. Pretty common to find cadmium. Yellows, reds, and oranges in paint section at fine art stores. Crafts! <laughs> She's make. I'm not making cookies, no. <laughs> I'm making ceramic stuff. Uh, I'm good, how are you? Looks like a beautiful day. It is, it's just a little warm. Um, I got my water here, though. Um, I'm just trying to get these, like, pockets of air out. So that it doesn't explode in the kiln and like break a bunch of stuff. Um, so we're making test tiles. Um, and the reason why you make test tiles is to test the clay, see how it's gonna come out, test the the glazes that you're gonna use, see how the glaze, how the clay that you use affects the glazes. Because we have this clay here, which is a very like white looking clay. I believe this is the same clay but in a bisque form. It has yet to be glazed fire. This gray, light gray you see here is a glaze. Uh, it needs to be glazed fired though so we can see what that looks like. Um, this, I actually forget what this, oh, this is a called a B-Mix 5 clay. This is a Miller 50 clay. It's more of a gray. Um, it kind of comes out similar color and then we have this Brooklyn red clay which will come out with more of a red hue Ugh. so fun Jerry is hello how are you welcome in sorry I'm on my phone and you're like very tiny so it's hard to see well giving you clay professional I'm I wouldn't call myself a professional but I have learned some things oh my god the red is so beautiful I have I think I've yet to actually use the red clay, um, so I'm excited to see what that turns out like. I've used this one, I've used Miller 50 before, um, but yeah. I'm gonna make some test tiles out of all three of these clays and see what they look like. Uh, Brigo, hello, yes, <laughs> give me eye. we're making test tiles. Um, I don't know how many I want to do of each one. I think I only want to do like half. We're not doing a ton. Um, I'm going to put this back because I want to save it and make some stuff with it. I'm thinking too, like, depending on how long this takes and how much light we have, I might try to make a mug too, just for funsies. But I won't fire it with the test kiln. I'll fire it once we know for sure it's going to work. <laughs> um, 50 of each color. No, my kiln is only like one foot by one foot in cube. So it's a very small kiln. We're not going to have that much space to test everything. I'm going to lurk, but I'll be popping back in. Okay, Taco, thanks for the lurk. I hope you have fun, whatever you're doing. Um, so we're probably going to use about this much of the, the B-Mix 5. Um, now these test tiles don't have to be like super pretty or anything like that. They just need to, uh, I just need to be able to use them to test. So we're probably going to do, um, let's do like six. I don't know, I don't have any glazes, actually. I need to buy glazes, but I don't need glaze to do the first fire because it, we just need to get it in a bisque wear state. You can't put glaze on, uh, like, this state of clay. You need to bisque it first and then put glaze. Mingles, hello! Come in, chat, how are you? We're doing great! I can barely see what the last part said. Love pottery, yeah! I did this in college, I loved it. Yeah, I did it in college too. Da paw print sounds per- wait, da a paw print sounds perfect? Wait, who said paw print? Squall, hello, hello, hello. 
test Bentley paw print on one. Use saran wrap. I could. Yeah, I can try that. I'm gonna go I'll be back later. See you guys. See you going. Okay. Let's see here. I have some saran wrap. I could test that. Sure. Um. Which one would I want to test it? This is probably gonna be the better clay to test that on. Okay. We could probably do a paw print on this one. I'm gonna probably make these a little bit uh, thinner. I was trying to figure out what the word was that I was trying to do. Um, okay. So I'm gonna roll this out a little bit more. So your test cells don't have to be anything crazy. Um, we're gonna just like take this and like fold it. Okay. So the reason why I'm making a test tile like this, where it's like standing up, is depending on the clays or the, the glazes that I use, some glazes might run and some glazes might stay where they are. So by having a test tile like stand up like this, I can test if the glaze that I use is gonna like run down the clay or not. Um, so, and then I'm going to go ahead and like, um, indent this. So if you can see it, this little, little test, and then I put like a one on there. So when I go get different glazes, I can jot a note down saying that test tile piece number one has like this glaze on it. Thanks for the lurk mangles. See you later. Uh, I'm gonna lurk, wish I could stay for the cool pottery. Have a good shape, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, we got one test tile. Um, I'm gonna go get some saran wrap and we'll see if we can do this Bentley thing. I need to get new saran wrap after this because I'll be touching all that. Um, let's use this test tile. Bentley, we're gonna get your paw print on this. We're gonna try our best to get your paw print on this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? I might not put um, a number on this, but I'll just write Bentley's paw print. <laughs> um, okay, come here, Bentley. Oh gosh, that's terrible. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I think. Let's see here. I just don't know. Can I get him, should I hold him up above it and then press his paw in? I'm trying to get this saran wrap to be as like smooth as possible on this clay so that it doesn't have like weird marks. Okay, I think I got it. Um, wet it a little or it might not. Indent. It's already soft. It's pretty soft. The clay is. I am covered in clay dust. I gotta wash my hands real fast. Hold on. <laughs> I 
came up with like dry clay all over my hands. Because then it, what if he like licks his fur and then he eats silica? <laughs> Come here, little baby. Can you get your paw in here? Oh. Did that, did that hurt? You okay? <laughs> it's not working very well. <laughs> it's, it's like barely working. Hold on. We'll use this other paw. You're so heavy. Put all your weight on it, Bentley. What? Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. Yeah, there we go. Good job. Okay, I think we got it. It's a little weird looking, but I think we got it. Uh, nothing lights my fuse as fast as trying to to handle or even tear saran wrap. <laughs> this is funny. Okay. Oh, it's not the greatest. But, I don't know if you could see that. <laughs> I kind of used, like there's a little indent over here from the first paw. But we got one, two, three, four, and then like little claw marks there. Yeah, it's not perfect. Just needs to be thicker. What do you mean thicker? Like the clay? But yeah, it's, it's in there. Let me smooth out this other claw from like before. But I think that was from before too. Anyways, uh, yeah, our softer well, it's cool. I want it. <laughs> I'll do more. That, this was just the test. Um, okay, so now we gotta make it flatten so it can stand up. But it's not gonna be perfect. It's a little smushed, but oh well, it'll work, as long as it dries standing up. It's a little flimsy, it's like not wanting to stand up. Hold on, we're going to use this to kind of like smooth it together with the bottom. I'm just like coming through here. It's our test tile. We'll do more Bentley paw prints. Now that I've figured out, I just need him to like put his weight into it and then he'll do it. If I try to push it myself, it won't really do it. Okay, I need you to stay standing up. Thank you. Um, send it with one I picked out. Huh? Send it with the one I picked out. Oh, 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 I know what you mean. I can hold my phone at my desk. It can hold my phone at my desk. I can make a phone holder one with Bentley's uh, paw. Uh, would he maybe put more weight on a back box? Maybe. Oh my god, we're outside. We are outside. Yeah, the bowl. I know what you mean now. Okay. At first, my brain was like, huh? Yeah, we're making little test tiles so that I can test out the kiln next week. It's so, it is, it is warm. Yeah, it's warm outside. Um, I don't know how many test tiles I really want to make. Because I don't, I currently don't have glaze. I need to go buy glaze. And I don't know how many pieces of, or I don't know how many colors of glaze I'm going to try and get. Um, these are some little things I made. I showed them earlier, but not many people were here. I made this little duck <laughs> um, one time, it was, I think, what, back in 2022. 20, Dixie, hello! Hi, Bentley, quick! And I made this little, like, heart. So these, um, these were made with, like, an underglaze, and then I just put a clear glaze on top. So the underglaze kind of allows me to, like, paint it on, and then the clear glaze just seals it. Co it's not a cookie! It's so cute, thank you. And then this little, like, skull. But, yeah. Uh, I think it says your name on the back. Yeah, it does. It's fine. 
Um, I've already like leaked my name <laughs> before. It does look like cookies. Super Mario Kart Animal Crack. They're not Animal Crackers. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, okay. I don't know if I want to make all. Okay, so we're definitely gonna make some of these. I need two of those. We could probably do six test tiles, two of each color. So I'll put these back in here. We'll try to make a mug with this clay, I think. Um, thank you for the follow. I can barely read that this far away. <laughs> uh, Hellips, thank you for the follow. I think I said that right. I'm not really sure. You look magical today, thanks. Animal quackless. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we, this is our B-Mix 5. We used two, we have two little test tiles from that. Um, now we're going to use this Miller 50, which is like, like a gray clay. Um, I made, I pre-made balls of clay already, because um, I was going to use them to throw. But I don't have a throwing wheel. I used the throwing wheel at the school, and I don't, I don't have my own throwing wheel. Um, so I'm hoping to purchase one sometime this year, but until then, I'm just gonna be like hand making stuff, which means it'll take a little bit longer to make stuff, like bowls and mugs, and they won't be as smooth looking um, as with a wheel, but it's still possible to make this stuff. It just looks a little different. Um, Arg, oh, add. Uh, who are you coming as to our tea party? I was thinking I could either be like, I don't want to take anybody from Ray, depending on who she would want to be. But I was thinking maybe like either the Cheshire cat or um, or the rat, like the rabbit with this little monocle thing. Um, she was talking about throwing wheels and talking about bowls and how it won't be a smooth looking thing to <laughs> Um, okay, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to make test tiles with this actually, it's kind of hard. Maybe. I'm going to see if I can cut it. Oh, I'm mixing clay a little bit. Whoops. Ugh, can you see that? Sort of, kind of. I wonder if, yeah, this is in the way, sort of. Okay. Ooh, split the clay. Whoop. Okay, so I'm gonna try and roll this out. Okay. Mm. Alice in Wonderland theme party. <laughs> oh my god, I love the Cheshire Cat. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Um, okay. We are not making cookies. We are working with clay. And this bug is like being annoying. Working with clay can be its own workout. My arms used to be so tired at the end of a day working with clay. These little test tiles, I'm so afraid I'm gonna knock them over, so I'm gonna move them. <laughs> Put them over here. Um, welcome back. We're kind of making cookies, just not yummy cookies. <laughs> right? I mean, I use like little cookie cutters to make those shapes from earlier, so little clay cookies, I guess. Ugh. If you work with bread dough, you could probably work with clay. <laughs> um, hey now, if you make, um, I'll eat them. <laughs> no, don't. They will always be cookies. <laughs> Everything can be a cookie at least once if you're brave enough. That's scary. I do not recommend eating these. <laughs> you guys are bad influences. <laughs> Okay. 
Yeah, splash. Um, make a clay burrito with filling and all burritos. I never claimed to be a good influence, Kimmy. Sorry for for assuming that you wanted to be a good influence. Okay, so we're gonna make. I have a little giant thing of water over there. We're gonna make some test tiles with these. I'm gonna go ahead and just like I'm making two, right? Yeah. Throw that in the Miller 50 pot. Um. Yep. Yep. Okay. I don't know. I think that what I'll probably end up doing is just getting a clear glaze and then maybe some other random glaze for funsies. Uh, I can be if, if, what? If I must for you, now you don't have to be. Just be yourself. Um, okay. Look. Flip, flip, flip. So we're gonna mark this one. What is this? Miller 50? I'm gonna write an M. And a one. So we wrote M because this clay is a Miller 50, and then one because it's our first test tile, and then the other one will do M2. Um, the other one's like almost a white clay, so it should be fine. I'll know it's the B mix. Um, Kronk image now, huh? Hi, McGraw, hello! First <laughs> test tile! Yeah, we're making test tiles. So, if you don't know what test tiles are, they're just tiles to like test out um, like different glazes or just to see how clays fire, what they look like, what certain colors glazes look like with certain colored clays. Because um, sometimes you get, a, you get a glaze and you think it's going to come out a certain way, but then because you're using a different clay color, it'll change the color of the glaze. Because science and stuff. M. M. What is this? M2 is what we're doing. Because this is our second tile of our Miller 50 clay. Oh my gosh, hello! Welcome in! Hi! Thanks for coming. <laughs> That's my neighbor's dog, sorry. I, um, I'm on my phone, so I can't really see that well. But hello, Porkies, hello, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in, holy. Porkies, okay, thanks for the raid. I was like trying to figure out who raided for a second because I'm on my phone and you're so tiny. Hello, hi. Your neighbor's dog make my dog so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you, hello, hi, hi. Yeah, that's, uh, that's her. You, can, you probably can't. Yeah, she's off. Off over there. Um, but we're making stuff with clay today. What are you doing today? So I have a, a very small kiln that I can make pottery with. But when I got it, it was broken. Um, my boyfriend fixed it. But we haven't tested it to see if it works. So what I'm doing right now is making, like, these little little clay pieces called test tiles that you'll put in the kiln and just see like um will they fire right will they you know will it look the way you want it and stuff like that so it's just like little test pieces um i'm probably not gonna we're not gonna test the kiln on stream but i was like well i've been wanting to make stuff on stream and so i was like well let's just start start <laughs> that's awesome yeah i've uh i did pottery in college for like two and a half years. Um, I have a website that I sold stuff on. Um, I still have stuff for sale, but it's stuff I made a while ago. Um, I kind of stopped making pottery because I didn't have, I just quit going to the school because it was getting expensive. And then, um, and then I didn't really have a way to make it at home, but now that I have the kiln fixed, I have a way to make it at home, but we just got to test everything. So, uh, 
chunk or potato on a leash. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, was it Boykin Lover? <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Big boy knows too much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm like trying to read the teeny tiny little bit of chat that's on there. If anybody else has followed and I haven't thanked them, uh, I it's probably scrolled up too far. I can't see it. But thank you so much for following if I didn't call you out and you did. Um, so we made test we made two test tiles of this gray clay. Porkies, how was your stream by the way? I have you I had you lurking up on my computer. Um that dog is adorable. It's my dog Bentley. He's not the one barking. But he does bark sometimes, just not very much. Um okay so I'm gonna put this clay away. It's gonna be a little too hard to make a mug out of this clay because it's a little it's getting a little too hard. So I'm not gonna make a mug out of that one. Um, we'll probably make a mug out of the first clay we used, or maybe this red clay. The next clay we're going to use is this red clay. It's a Brooklyn red, um, and it'll, it should come out kind of red once we fire it. Played some Geometry Dash, Mario Kart 8, and Roblox. Nice, that's awesome. Fun times. I gotta, you guys, wait a minute. Do I have a mod watching? I know Arma was here a second ago. Can you guys shout out Port Gays again? Because you guys should go follow Port Gaze. I've watched a few of his streams and he's got some crazy energy and super nice. And he also has this channel point redeem where he throws himself out his window. <laughs> it's so funny. Sorry. Sorry I had to throw you out there like that. But I've been lurking in his streams so I can get enough channel points so I can make him go out the window. <laughs> it's great. You have an emote that does that shows it, doesn't don't you? You should throw it up there. <laughs> I get it. it's so funny. Sorry, Bentley's caught. <laughs> you have more room, babies? Uh, but yeah. Check it out. Yes, thank you, thank you, babe. So kind of you. That's poor gaze. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> I mean, I can't see it. I just see poor gaze, yeah, buddy, or something like that. But I'm sure, yeah, it's great. I was like, I saw the, the little emote or whatever because a Tendo user was showing it on my stream before and I was like, what is this? <laughs> and then when I finally watched your stream and you did it, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he actually throws himself out the window. <laughs> it's so funny. You see the letters? Yeah, because I'm on my phone. Like, that's I'm streaming on my phone right now, so I don't see everything's like just super tiny. <laughs> and not all the emotes work on my phone, like I can't see them. Um, I see like the general Twitch emotes, but I don't see anybody's like special emotes. <clears throat> okay, so this clay, if I'm not mistaken, stains really bad. Um, so with, that's why we're using this one the last. Um, and we are going to make a mug. I don't know if I'll be able to see this. Again, I don't know if I even have a mod watching or listening. You need a tablet for outdoor streams. I had my tablet. It was dead <laughs> before I started. It's been charging. I want to see if I can if it's if I can grab it. I just don't know if my internet will reach outside. Hold on. I'm gonna get clay all over my iPad. <laughs> Um, looks like I got some service. Let's see here. Twitch. Oh no, do I have to log in? I don't remember my stuff. I never remember it. Crap. Um, hold on. I think. Hold on, I think it's this. Hold on. I'm not reading chat because I'm trying to get logged in. I, um... Dang it, I don't remember what it is. 
I never remember my password. <laughs> um, ah, I probably should be doing this later. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I'm like, I always forget what my password is. Big boy, have a good one. See you soon. What up, what I'm extremely tired. Have a fun stream, Kimmy. Love you. Keep up your vibes and I'll see y'all next time. Okay, big boy, knows too much. Have a great time. I or like type sleep, you know, whatever. I, I can't word. <laughs> sleep well. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out for a little bit. Grab something quick to eat. Yeah. Well, yeah, get food, get food. Well, I'm 71 point, or 71,300 points away to the mini mod. Dang, otherwise I would help. Um, I have no idea what's going on right now. I'm trying to get logged into my, logged in here. I don't remember what my password is. Um, so that I can hopefully just use my phone, or the iPad to actually read chat. something in the back of my throat too. It's probably silica dust. Ugh. Trouble logging in. Can I like log in a different way? No, I don't want to do that. This will probably end my stream if I do it this way because it'll be like, oh, you're going to change your password. Now you got to re-log in. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I wish I could log in by, like, doing a little QR code or something. Boop. This is taking way too long. I'm sorry. I'm going to just have to look at it. <laughs> Here. You could just make a quick dummy account and mute it and watch the chat from there. <gasps> That's true. No, I just, I can't remember what my password is. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, can I just like go to my Twitch like through Google or something? And do I need an account to watch? Um, that'll just, I just want to be able to see chat better. That's all. Sorry for the delay, folks. Thanks. I got it up. <laughs> it's working now. Okay. There. Now I can read you guys better. Got it. Let's go. What? <laughs> yeah. I can just look there and see you now. And I can see myself. <laughs> okay. We're good. Perfect. Um, except it's going to be weird. I'm going to look down here to look at you guys. <laughs> um, okay. Thanks for that idea to go back and get my iPad. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so we're going to, now we're gonna use this clay. It's a little like, hmm, it looks like it also has like mold on it or something. Which honestly, it's, it's okay if clay has mold, it'll just burn off in the kiln. Cause kilns usually get up to like thousands degrees in temperature. Um, it's almost like a whole fire in there. Um, Mandy, I remember doing this at school. You did pottery in school for days? I think I did do pottery in school. I feel like I remember making this little, like, um, what do you call it? Like a little deer or something. Okay, get ready for this to, like, stain everything. Ooh. Wait, I don't need this much. We're gonna take like half of this and put it back. But, um, I remember doing this in school. I made a mug with two two handles. That's pretty cool. Okay, now the weird thing is that I can't see all of that. Open that. If I did it this way, nope, we're going back to grid. But. But for whatever reason, um, I can't see Vay's message on there. 
Um, high fire or porcelain kilns are fired between yeah 2,262 degrees Fahrenheit and 2,600 uh, for this type of clay. <laughs> yes, this is um, like stoneware is high fire. This is stoneware clay. Um, porcelain is I've never worked with porcelain, but I heard it's like not a nightmare, but <laughs> it's hard to work with. <laughs> Is what I've been told. Um, turn the tablet portrait long ways. Should show more of the tat. Um, I don't have a way to hold it up long ways. Uh, I could go get go back inside and get something though. Um, but it shows it like on the bottom instead of to the side. But I reset it so now all the new stuff, all the new chat is like coming down. Uh, okay, I probably still have too much clay, so let's take off this and this, because these are just giant chunks. <laughs> um, it's so weird, like, can you see this? I don't know if you can see this, there's like little lines, I don't know what that's from. Yeah, you can see that. Oh. Oh, I think I know. It's coming up from on here. Okay, so we're gonna make two test tiles from here. Was this better than the phone? What? Like the way that I have it here so I can read? Yeah, I mean, I c it's so much easier. <laughs> Instead of me having to go like, huh? What? When I look crazy, like, look it up at you guys. Okay, we're gonna do this and this, we just round our little corners here. You know what would be great is if I had a way to do this setup and have two cameras. Um, so that way you could see what I'm doing like right here and then you can see me. But I've brought my laptop out in the backyard before and I just lose connection like instantly like the Wi-Fi doesn't <clears throat> the Wi-Fi is reaching for the iPad but it as soon as I take my laptop out I, it won't work okay so we've got this is 308 and we're gonna name it 3081 for book Brooklyn we'll do B for book Brooklyn Red B1. There we go. C and C. Now we have written B1 for our first test tile, the Brooklyn Red clay. Um, you could with a laptop uh, to US. Yeah, I could, but it just I don't have internet as soon as I take my laptop out. I don't know why. Get a wall plug in Y. Wi-Fi extender by a socket near the door. Yeah, I should look into that. Okay, so we got first test tile for the broken red. And then next test tile. Second test tile for broken red. Um, they're around $20 at Best Buy. Okay. I don't go to Best Buy too often because it's really not that close to me. But next time I go out that way, um, I feel like I live out in the, the boonies. Is that what you call it? I don't know. You guys, Bentley looks so stinking cute right now. <laughs> um, or Amazon, yeah, I can do Amazon for sure. Mm, okay, what if I do this? And then this. There we go. Are you streaming from phone? I am. Yeah, I am streaming from the phone. Because my laptop just doesn't, it doesn't have an internet as soon as I get out. Um, yeah, for phone, the quality is amazing. I'm using, my phone is a Samsung. Um, I think it's like a 22 
ultra but I'm using the selfie side like I'm not even using like the back side which probably would get you even better quality and since I have this I could probably flip it around hold on I'm gonna flip you this way for a second we're gonna flip it on Bentley because look at how cute this little dude is <laughs> oh yeah did you see did you hear how cute you were Oop, ah, I'm sorry. I touched you with my clay hands. No, I'm so sorry. Don't look at my feet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so let me bring this down. There we go. We'll see how that looks. Can you still see me or is my head cut off this way? Does that quality look better? Or no? Um, that's the thing, it's so clean for being just the phone and audio is nice. Yeah, I'm, I don't even have any other audio, that's literally my phone's audio, like Mike. I got the 23 Ultra and it does not look as good as this. Really? What? The lawn potato! Look at the potato nub having cuteness. Yeah, looks fine, but the top of your head is now cut off when you stand up. Okay, hold on. Let me bring up this. that look better? We'll see. This, this is delayed so I can't really see it. Yeah, I think that looks good. Is it, a, is it blurry at all? Much better? For me. Do you feel like it's crisper with this camera than the first one where I had it selfie mode? Or is it crystal clear? Perfect. Yay. Okay. So now, while we still have some daylight left, it is, the sun's supposed to set in like 45 minutes. Oh, they came in my aisles. <laughs> um, we're gonna make a, a mug. It's extra crisp, I enjoy this, yay. I am so excited. I really hope that the kiln works out well and we don't have to do anything. Um, like I hope that these test tiles turn out well. I can get some glazes and then the glaze goes well because I would I'm gonna definitely do more pottery streams <laughs> if that's the case. Um, I'd love to kind of like fix up the backyard to do some more pottery but I don't know we'll see. But I'm gonna let you guys pick. Um, should we do a mug in the Brooklyn red clay or should we do it in the B-Mix 5 which is this like white clay. So you have the white clay or the red clay. Um, but this is fun, yay, I'm glad. I think my streaming is delayed by like 30 seconds. Sorry if my comments are off. It is totally fine. I'm literally reading the chat, like not from the stream itself. Like I'm reading it from, <laughs> with you guys basically. So we'll see. Good, I'm hoarding points for pottery, yay. I know Ray was wanting points for pottery because she wanted me to make this like egg holder but then she found it at Walmart in the color she wanted so I don't know if she's still trying to get pottery or not because she also won one of my mugs too so she's like I already got Kimmy pottery. I have iPhone X not as good but works. I tried streaming in my house once from phone it was okay but I can't stream outside because I can only use 4G and not 5G. No! Okay it's looking like everybody's wanting the red. Hold both for Bentley. Whatever he looks at most is the winner. Well, it's, nobody said the white clay. Everybody seemed to want red clay. But I'll still try it. The clay is heavy. Which one? He looked at the red and then he looked at me. So we're going to do the red clay. <laughs> clay is so heavy. <laughs> I literally have this like um, little box, this weather tight thing that I put all of my clay in. And I carried it from my a little um, closet to out here and my it, my next thought was like when Boulder gets here I'm going to have him bring it back inside. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to carry it back in. <laughs> literally like 
that block of clay, this block of clay, this bag of clay, and like two other little small bags of clay. It's, and like one of those is like 25 pounds or something like that. So this whole bucket is probably close to like 60 pounds maybe. Um, Bentley gets a boat wood. <laughs> Uh, you're literally earth bending when you work with clay. <gasps> That's so true. Who needs weights when you got clay block? I know, seriously, I like I was getting such an arm workout from like just throwing clay. And I say throwing clay because that's like what you call it when you're either just throwing clay on a wheel. I don't know why. I mean, you throw it down, but then from there you're just like s s morphing it. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna make a red mug. Do we want it to be a big mug? Like, nice, like, hold it in your hand. Mug. Ugh. Ugh. We're gonna kinda like work this clay together. Ugh. I can't wedge this properly. Like, when you work clay like this and you like roll it and squish it, it's called wedging. Uh, but because this little cloth here keeps moving, I can't really wedge it properly. Um, always big mug. Okay, sounds good. What I could do, actually, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like cut out a new piece and go from there. Um, we are we are gonna be working on a time limit too. Of the sun. <laughs> when it gets too dark, that's or when I finish this mug, uh, that is when the stream will end. <laughs> um, okay. Clay. Mm. Okay. Can you guys see? Yeah. Should be able to see. So, hmm. Should I, I'm trying to think if I should make it kind of like round or if I should make it more like a traditional mug where it's like flat on the bottom and just cylindrical. Um, no, at, all right, time for me to go to bed oh, as well. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night, Porkies. Thank you so much for the rain. I'll see you some other time. Hopefully you got some new followers too that are gonna help you go out the window. <laughs> um, I'll see you next time. Have a great stream, thank you for kiss. Have a good night, sleep well. Uh, now I miss the earth bending tips. She just said uh, we're on the sun's time limit stream. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. Um, you guys let me know, should I make it more of like a round mug or should I make it more like a cylinder? Like think, hmm, think like half spear or Starbucks travel mug where it's literally like a cylinder with a flat bottom. Um, <clears throat> while I roll this clay out, you can tell me which one. Ooh, ooh. Bowl nut cup. Yeah, basically kind of like a bowl shape. But with a handle. Whoops. Oh, there's a Bentley hair in here. It'll, it would, if there was even any Bentley hair when it got fired though, it would just get burned out and you'd just see like remnants of where the hair was. Uh, I was both bowl, not cup. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Rego, what we were saying was, uh, it looks like Dixie is saying to do it more bowl shape or like bowl shape with a handle. I was saying either bowl shape with handle or like cylinder with a flat bottom. Um, I was trying to figure out what shape we should do. I always vote bowl. Oh wait, I already read that. 
classic mug shape or cappuccino cup shape? Yeah, classic mug shape, which would be that cylinder. Or cappuccino, which is like, whoop, a little bowl. Okay. What I know for sure I want to do is a braided handle for the mug. So while we know for sure, while we figure out for sure like what kind of mug we're gonna do, did did this sound effects? Whoa! What of me going like? Rah, rah. Uh, bowl can use for other things too besides coffee, but classic mug might be easier to hold coffee. Uh, I mean it's not gonna be a bowl. It would just be kind of like bowl shaped. Um, sorry, I'm on my minutes. Braided handle. Yeah, we're gonna do braided handle because I think that's gonna kind of be like my signature <laughs> is a braided handle. Um, I was built practicing at the last time I was making things out of clay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get three ropes, sort of. And we're gonna set this to the side for a second. Maybe I should pull this out so it's not, okay, there we go. Look at this, it's all red. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna hopefully kind of roll. Ooh, we could do like extra twisty. I'm doing this a little different than I did before, but that's okay. When we go to glaze it, it'll kind of seal it up. I love braided handle. Yeah, I like the braided handles too. They're a little challenging at times, but I think we can do it. It'll be, it'll be fine. Okay. I need to get them all similar, similar shape, thickness, consistency. This one's a little thick, I think compared to the other two. Um, oh, I don't love doing a braid, braided handle. I just love looking at them, touching them, mostly touching them. There, do you see many braided handle things? Um, okay, so we're gonna pinch this at the top here. And then, well, uh, it's gonna be a little hard because it clay has a tendency to want to like break <laughs> basically as you're like or like um, what do you call it? It has a tendency to like give little like crackly effects. I'm not really trying or meaning for that to happen, but uh, I just kind of pulled on it. probably gonna make this longer than I intend for it to be and then I can kind of like doctor it up on the ends if it doesn't look quite right it's gonna be a very thick handle <laughs> oh it's okay Blech. Um, you don't, don't see many braided handles. Okay, squish. Voila, we have our braid. The downfall with stuff like that though is like, there's a lot of holes. in the braid but I don't know if you can quite see like 
I don't know if it'll focus. I can't really see it, but there's there's like little um, cracks, like teeny tiny little cracks. But hopefully, oh yeah, you can kind of see it. Hopefully that'll get like smoothed out with the uh, glaze. Wet it between braids to avoid the cracks. Yeah. Well, it's not like crack cracked, but it's just like. Um, just bending a little bit. You want to be too. You want to. You also want to be careful not to do too much wetting, because then, as it dries, um, it could actually crack. Because <laughs> you want the clay to be very like even, evenly moist. Sorry if that word makes anybody feel anyway. Um, so you you gotta be careful not to have it too. Too wet. Okay. Holder, hello! How are you doing? Are you are you done working out or are you about to go work out? Really critical, hello! How did the tortillas turn out? What tortillas? We didn't make tortillas. <laughs> we made we made clay. This is gonna be a handle. Um, touchy? Wait, touchy what? Maybe I just wanted a reason to give you, get you to say moist. I mean, uh. okay. So now we're doing bowl shape, right? Bowl shaped mug. Might be a little too um, wet for this. You were definitely rolling tortillas half an hour ago. They were not tortillas. It was clay. <laughs> and stuff you should not eat. <laughs> um, not touchy. Touchy as in touch, touchy good sir? Huh? Oh, I just don't know. Huh? Know how to do a little touch. What? A buff thing about the eat? Touch. No touch. Oh, no touch, sir. Like, no touchy. Like that. Touche. <laughs> okay, so we are making bowl shape. How am I going to do this? Bowl shape. Um, I think what I'm going to do is start with a base, because I do still need either a flat bottom or, like, something to hold it up. Um, I'm going to make sure that it, like, stays. <laughs> Um, so, we're gonna do, I need a circle of some sort. I can wash this. Okay. We're gonna go around and we're gonna make our base. Whoop. There we go. Okay, so here's our mug base. And then I'm gonna kind of like build up around it. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Now remember, this is a handmade mug. It is not a wheel thrown mug. Handmade mugs are gonna have more, they're not gonna be smooth. They'll be as smooth as I could make it with my hands, but um, usually wheel thrown are a lot smoother. Um, Okay. I'm gonna kind of do like a slight curve. Um, touche equals touchy. Really, touche, touche. I feel like touche is like, um, how do you describe that? I don't even know. Like you won touche or something like that. And I feel like touchy is like, ooh, touchy. Oh, like you're a little, like touchy. Like, oh, right. Back up. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I even know what I mean. 
Okay. How big are we making this? That's gonna be way too big. Like, way too tall. It's not gonna be very, um... Yeah, let's roll this out a little bit more. And we, I can always add more clay too. What? Um, had to uh, said as an acknowledgement during a discussion of a good or clever point made to one's expense by another person. Yeah, touchy is pro pronounced touche. Oh, I thought you were saying it has two different words. Touche. But there's also touchy as a word too, isn't it? Thanks, Brego, for actually uh, explaining that with words instead of arrows. Sorry, Dixie. <laughs> Touch touche, Madame Touche. I was just saying you won though because it can't get too wet or it'll crack. <laughs> Sorry. I am blonde. I use that as an excuse too much. <laughs> but it's like, I'm like, huh? What do you mean? Okay. I would really love this to be like rounder. I feel like this isn't going to be as tall as I want it to be, but we'll see. I can always add more. Again, I can always add more. Okay, so what we're gonna do too, is I'm gonna make little hatches at the bottom here. The clay, normally you would use like a little bit of some kind of like clay water mixture um to bind two pieces of clay together but this is very wet clay still it's very like pliable um so i don't think i really need moisture but i do want to like cross hatch either end of these you can see that uh, so that way they're kind of like like almost like a velcro or something meshed together. Whoa. We're big. Whoa. And I'm gonna just like I know I'm not, it's not totally sealed, but I'll make a little triangle and just kind of seal it together. So you can see on the inside, hopefully, that it's like not smooth. So I'm gonna take some time and just kind of like smooth that out the bottom there so you can really, so it'll bind it together. And I'll do the same like on the bottom. Um, I have a whole toolbox full of tools that are all covered in clay and stuff. Um, and in here, I should have like a little, little ball tool here. Um, I'll use a little bit of water, not much, kind of just smooth these together. even just add a little bit I did this on another um, another mug where I just added a really bit small bit of clay because I was pushing in a little bit too much that um I didn't know if there would be enough clay to like really keep it strong um I, I was using the arrows to point to the words Kayla used to explain it. Yeah, my bad, I was too stupid to explain it. No, you're totally fine, Dixie. 
It's already so cute. Yay. I'm glad you think so. Dixie and Fairly tried to. I know they tried. I just am too, like, <laughs> I'm too slow sometimes. I need a little more explanation. That's my fault, not y'all's fault. It's my fault. For not being a little more like, uh, like catching on quicker. Okay, I need a little bit more water. Not too much. I have not made, I've made a lot of wheel thrown mugs, but I have very little experience with handmade mugs. Um, or like hand built mugs would be the appropriate term. Cause even wheel thrown are still handmade. Um, oh nice, I'd already break it? What do you mean you'd already break it? The worst part is that as an author, I generally should have been able to explain it easier. It's all good. You're on chill time. You're not on author, authoring time. <laughs> okay. I am. So hold on. So you can see this. So I don't know if you can see that. There's like almost a divot where I was like trying to push in the clay to like add it together. So now I'm just adding this clay. So that way, um, it kind of fills in that hole for that like roundness and I'm gonna just push it in there oh that's not really the greatest <laughs> video <laughs> but I think you saw it I was AFK I heard fault so I assumed you were talking about boulder what do you mean uh, assume you're talking about boulder for what yeah gonna be like a little divot I think in here. I'm hoping that when we get to like glazing this piece it'll kind of smooth everything all out a little bit. Okay. You guys want to see more of an up close of what I'm doing or would you rather see the scene you're seeing now because I could move the camera so it's kind of like right above me third fault I can't type today it's all good we are losing light you heard fault I assume we were talking what you were saying that Whose fault? Like Boulder's fault? Oh, this is gonna be so thin. Okay. Hmm. It's not too bad. it down a little bit. Maybe. It's not gonna be perfect. Whoa, it hurts my back. <laughs> okay. Whoa. I'll probably kind of like smooth out the bottom here and try to round it out a little bit. Um, so we're gonna fill in this little triangle part. I just need to figure out how thick to make it. Wow. 
Okay. We'll try to do... Like this. We are losing light. Okay. The lighting still doesn't look too bad though. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of like cut lines in here. I mean, I object to moving the cam in any way that loses Kimmy. Yeah, it would lose me if I moved it. I'm gonna put a little bit of water here. It's just starting to get hard. Right there. We don't want that yet. Yet. We don't want it yet. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna kind of like cut into this side. I'm like literally just kind of winging it here. It's not pretty, but. It's the first introduction back into making stuff with clay. So this side you can already see it's kind of like we're getting it smoothed out. On the inside there's like a little um, you could see where it connects so we're going to just kind of like smooth that out. Is there somebody inside? What's wrong, Bentley? Okay, and then this side here, we'll just kind of squish that in and smooth that out. And then smooth out the inside as well. I hope you can see that. losing light oh yeah yeah I am losing light I mean it's still bright but like I mean I can see and looking at you guys on chat like you can still see me um but it's not too bad I think we could make finish this in time this is probably like the ugliest looking mug I've ever made though sorry mug <laughs> uh okay the thing is is it's it's not like smooth or straight across. So we're gonna kinda like take this. Hold on, wait. We're gonna take this. And hopefully I can do this smoothly enough that it'll cut off like right about the same level a little off, but I think it's a lot closer than it was. And then I can use
Um, usually I'd use like this kind of sponge. And then kind of like smooth out the edges here. It'll still be a little um, grainy, but we're compressing the edges so they're not going to be like square and sharp looking. Be a little bit smoother, easier on your mouth. <laughs> Bentley, are you doing okay? You getting hot? I brought his little water dish out. I'm using this little wet damp sponge, not like wet wet sponge, but damp sponge. And I'm kind of like smoothing out the inside. See a crack. I'm just trying to smooth out the crack. It's, it's very <laughs> pliable. This might be one of those mugs that I have to kind of like leave alone for a little bit. Um, I might have to leave it alone for a little bit so it like hardens up and then keep working on it. Um, but we'll see. If I can kind of smooth out the bottom here. Kind of taking away this excess clay. I wonder if I can get closer. Hold on. Let me like bring you down a little bit more. You guys can see see yourself on chat, I guess. Will that work? Yeah, okay, that should work. Okay. I will see, I still see Kimmy, so no objections yet. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. I don't know if you can see that little bit of extra clay. We're gonna take that away. We're gonna try and smooth this out. It's very soft. This clay is so soft that I'm trying my best also not to just ruin what we've just done. Okay. okay. It feels very like thin right there, but let's see. Okay. This will kind of also like help it even out, but we're gonna try and like smooth out these cracks that you see at the bottom. Whee. Without ruining the bottom. I feel like, like caving in on itself a little. Smooth 
squish, squish. This is very handmade or like hand built. Okay, what I don't really care for that much um, is how like how if you look at the edge here, like, I don't know if you can see it, but it like, kind of, it's so flat at the end. So I'm going to take, um, this little piece here and kind of like sculpt around it to make it not so, like, to make it not stick out on the end there. So it looks a little more round. It would be easier to have, um, there's like this thing you can buy that's like a circle and it'll spin. Um, it would be easier to use that. But I don't have one. <laughs> so we're using what we have, which is just scooting it along. Yeah. Can you guys hear the birds chirping? I have to like do this and then do this just to get chat back. Yes, I love birds. They're so nice. I'm glad you guys can hear them. Like I don't have any kind of like audio thing. It's literally just my phone. And I thought about it for a second. I was like, I feel like I should set up some kind of audio. <laughs> like a mic so that I can talk to you guys and you can hear me. But I mean... If you can hear me fine this way, like, I guess I don't really need one. <laughs> when I have one, I just haven't, like, set it up. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be really, like, wonky. <laughs> but again, it is hand-built, not wheel-thrown, so it is gonna be a little wonky. Nothing you can really do about it. I do still feel like it's, it's not the same level, like this side is shorter than this side over here, um, so I need to keep trying to smooth that out. digging in too much. Hold on. Mm. Seems a little better. Need a little bit more. My, the friction of my fingers are like not causing it to smooth out or causing it not to smooth out not super perfect but it's all right okay. 
Okay, I'm kind of like wanting it to settle out. You know what I'm going to do on the bottom of this? Hopefully it'll stay and last. I'm going to write Kimmy Karma. And I'm going to write the date it is today. So I know that I did it on this stream. <laughs> I'll probably know just because of what it looks like. I'm not pushing down too hard. Where it's like going through, I don't know how thin I made it. Horace, hello! How are you? Sorry, I'm like at, outside. Wait, I think you were here earlier. <laughs> How was Counter Strike? I have to like scroll up outside. What is that? <laughs> You're like, what's outside? This is where you touch grass. How are you doing, though? Oh gosh, it stopped working. My little iPad. The only way I could read chat. Hold on. I'm like almost done with this mug. I got, just gotta add the handle. After I write my name on the bottom. What's today's date? like the weirdest looking four ever. There we go. Voila! I don't know if you guys can see that. Oop. Okay, this might get squished as I try to do this. Um, I think where I'm gonna put this handle, let's see. like hurting my back. Yay! Right. <laughs> Let me see. It's not the smoothest. This is not the prettiest look. <laughs> but... Oh my gosh, Bailey, are you okay? Did you hear him like throw up? <laughs> Nothing came out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this handle. We're gonna cut it off like right here and right here. We're probably gonna cut off more of it, but I feel like where should I put it? God, this is so not very well shaped. <laughs> Mandatory, hello! Twin X, hello, how are you? How's your day going? Oh my god, Bentley, what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to go through my legs? <laughs> I'm squatting. Okay, where's like the thickest part of this? I think I'm gonna put the handle like here. Maybe. Yeah, this will have to be where it goes. Okay, so put the handle on. We're gonna go ahead and like patch this up. And then you also um, wanna like mark this through. This is starting to get firmer. So you definitely 
need a little bit of moisture. Um, there's something that you would use, which I'm blanking on the name of it now, but it's just a mixture of clay and water, so it's like glue almost. And you use that to kind of like smush things together. hoping that I can just kind of smush this together with a little bit of clay or a little bit of water and my outside light just turned on. It's like it's getting dark. Okie dokie. Thank you for the lark mandatory. Okay. And then I'm going to cut off some more of this handle. Probably a little bit more. We want it to be lined up as much as we can. I'm going to kind of like smush. Smush, 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 smush. I need some more water. Ugh. Okay. Now, this is the struggle part. It's because this is so, like, pliable still. <laughs> Um, I don't know how well this is gonna like mesh together without being completely ruined at the same time. I'm gonna have to hold it in my hands. I hope it doesn't fall apart. Um, what I've done in the past too is like kind of added clay like around it just to make it a little stronger. I'm probably trying to do too much at once. I probably should let let it dry a little bit before doing more. But oh well. We can always just mush it back together and start again. No bad nature stops that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like the lights? How dark it's getting? Yeah, this is getting like so mushy. <laughs> My hands are just like so clay. Um, is that score and slip? Slip, slip. Yeah, score and slip. I was trying to remember what the word was. Slip is the word. Yeah, slip is just like a, a mixture of clay and water, but it's like more water than like this clay and water, so that it's like a glue almost. But I didn't, I don't have any slip, so I'm just kind of like wetting, wetting down the clay more so that I can kind of like make it into a slip. Okay. I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm trying to just like fill in these little holes that maybe will make it a little too weak to handle. Or potentially crack as it dries. But again, if you put too much water, it like makes other parts too dry well that part's too wet and then as it dries it'll crack you know it's like a fine balance a fine line between how much water you should or how much you should wet it down okay 
Oh gosh, the handle's not like quite even. It's not quite centered. <laughs> like if you look straight down on it, it's not quite right. What? Okay, so we're gonna let it sit like this. It's perfect. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put like a tiny little like thumb rest kind of thing right there I think if I can I might be trying to do too much Wah. Right now I'm just kind of like smoothing it out. I'm gonna score this. I'm gonna score this a little bit. Put a little water right in there. We'll see how this goes. We're just experimenting. Experimenting. Bentley, what are you growling at? You hear that growling? Yeah, I think that should be okay. There. I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> but, we'll see. Ah! You guys see that? So you're like, you're going to hold your, put your thumb right here and hold the mug. Hold on. Well, yes, channel your inner Miss Frizzle. <laughs> I see it, yeah. Whoop. I like making you smaller. Sorry if this is abrupt craziness. But yeah. So, you, depending on how big your hand is, I guess, you can put your hand there. Ah. We'll see how it dries. If it cracks or not, the sun is going down. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little bit wonky. Um, but you know, it's like hand hand built, not wheel thrown. So yeah. Um. Anyways, so I think that kind of will conclude. Um, I have so much clay everywhere. <laughs> this whole, uh, tripod that I'm using is just covered in, like, uh, clay dust. <laughs> but, um, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. Because, uh, it's getting dark. Um, and we finished a mug. So, we have, to recap... We have our little mug that we just made. I just showed you guys. I don't know if you can see it again. Um, and then on the other side here, other side of the little um, thingamabob, we have our little test tile pieces. We have these two for BMX5, these two for Miller 50, and then our same thing we're using our mug with, which is the um, Brooklyn Red. Um, which I'm gonna have to carefully watch this handle and make sure that it does <laughs> dries okay. Uh, can we please raid Bumble? Um, I was gonna raid someone new that I had found recently, um, who's really great. 
if they're even still on. I don't even know if they're on. Um, but let's read Bumble. She She's sad. Thank you for sharing your evening with us, of course. Thank you for showing us Pretty Potter. You're welcome. Can somebody do exclamation mark raid? Or not? Yeah, exclamation mark raid. And then exclamation mark sub raid. So we can get the raid messages going. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are not subscribed, can you use the first raid message? And then if you are subscribed, you can read, use the second raid message. Um, let me see if I can figure out how to raid from here. Um, I have chat bubble, but I don't know if I can. Do I have a mod here? <laughs> you have very pretty eyes, thank you. We do exclamation mark mod or mods and hopefully if there is a mod no wait that won't work because I'm not on my PC never mind <laughs> um I should be able to raid out from here but I don't know it won't let me chat no I wonder let me go inside and see if I can raid from my computer. I'm going to take you guys with me. We're going on a field trip. <laughs> it's very dark in here. Oh. Ah. Come on, Bentley. I know you want to come inside. Okay. We're going on a field trip. We're going on a field trip. I got clay all over my hands. Woo! This is IRL stream for real. You guys can uh, see the background there. Bought on the black. Wait, yay field trip. She really has Miss Frizzle. And now with my hair, it looks kind of Miss Frizzly. Um, oh my gosh. I don't want to touch my setup with all this clay hands. Um, I can always wash it. I can always wash it. Sorry, you're getting like my nose. <laughs> okay, hold on. Field trip, field trip. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna go. We'll raid Bumble. We'll get we'll get the person I was thinking about next time. Maybe on Saturday, because I think they stream on Saturdays too, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go cheer up Bumble. Yay! Okay, Queen Beach. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go cheer at Bumble. Um, you know what? Instead of that message, we're gonna do that one. <laughs> but let me see, can I copy it and then, like, do multiple? There. That'll be our raid message. Anybody should be able to use that. It doesn't matter if you're subbed or not. Um, we're gonna use that as our raid message. So if you're still here and you're actually listening in and all that stuff, please use that as our raid message. We're gonna go cheer up Bumble because I just heard she's not feeling too great, I guess. So, um, oh, we'll say hi to Bumble. Thank you guys. She got migraines. Oh no, she's probably gonna end soon. <laughs> um, she's, she just finished up a really long work, work thing. Um, I think Tuesday was like her last day doing crazy hours at work, so... Um, we're gonna go say hi to Bumble. Nope, I'm giving her going. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll go, we'll go raid the person I was thinking about for today on Saturday. Um, because they're really great and I think you guys would really love them. Um, but yeah, let's, let's cheer up Bumble. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with the clay stuff. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Oh god, I just clapped and dust went everywhere. Blah!